Thomas L. Jennings. Thomas was born a free man in New York City, New York in 1791. Now, when Thomas was in his early 20s, he chose a profession as a tailor and soon opened his business. Now, while operating his business, Thomas developed a method called dry scouring, which we know today as dry cleaning. Thomas was the inventor of this method. And his method is what made him the first black man in history to receive a patent. Now, receiving his patent, it wasn't easy. And Thomas faced a lot of controversy. I mean, after all, at that time, slaves, they were not allowed to patent their inventions. Slaves were the property of their masters, and so were their inventions and ideas. And in 1793... U.S. patent laws stated that the master is the owner of the fruit of the labor of the slave, both manual and intellectual, and patent courts did not view slaves as citizens at this time. Now, since the slaves, they were not viewed as citizens and the masters owned the fruit of their labor, and this also included all inventions that a slave created. Slaves were not allowed to own any rights at all, especially not to inventions. But Thomas Jennings, remember, he wasn't a slave at all. Remember, he was born a free man. So Thomas, on March the 3rd, 1821, he was awarded U.S. Patent 3306X for his discovery of the process we know as dry cleaning. Thomas gained exclusive rights to his invention and he made a profit from it. Thomas was also a very passionate abolitionist at this time and he used the money that he made from his invention to fund abolitionist causes and free the rest of his family from slavery. Thomas also served as Assistant Secretary of the First Annual Convention of the People of Color when they met in Pennsylvania in June of 1831. And in 1861, patent rights were finally extended to slaves. Thomas L. Jennings, 1791 to 1856.